Hi, I'm Chef Pete Schellenbach, culinary specialist with Vulcan, joining you again today from the Vulcan Test Kitchen. Today I want to talk to you a little bit about the Vulcan Endurance Series Restaurant Range. So the Endurance is our mid-tier range in our product portfolio. It offers similar flexibility to our heavy-duty ranges, but in a smaller footprint and still has great flexibility because of its modular design. That modular design gives you total flexibility and adaptability for any location. It's rugged, well-engineered, it's gonna be a dependable product, and gives you a great feature set that's gonna make a huge difference in your operation. Today I'm gonna to be making you fruity tamari with fettuccine. I'm gonna be using a couple of burners to make that. The one burner I'm gonna to use to actually make the dish, another burner I'm gonna to use to cook the fettuccine, and then I'm also gonna use the griddle top to uh, toast up some bread to serve with that dish. It's obviously great for this kind of application because I'm using multiple types of cooking on the same range. So I mentioned a little bit about the engineering. These are 30,000 BTU per hour open top burners with lift off heads to make it easy to clean them. They have heavy duty cast iron grates that are 12 by 12 in the front and 12 by 14 in the back. That extra room in the back gives you a little bit more room for larger stock pots, things like that. Another great feature is the extra deep pull out stainless steel crumb tray that catches, catches things as they fall through. Um, and it has welded corners to make sure that any liquid spills get contained on the tray as well. So the reason that you'd choose the Endurance Restaurant Series range is because of the modular design. It is completely flexible for any operation. That modularity of design is super important. You can specify the elements of the range that are going to best suit your operation. And because of that modularity, again, I keep harping on that, but it's a big deal because we build the modules so that those modules are already ready. When you decide what pieces of the range that you'd like to have, all we have to do is assemble the modules and ship that out. The important thing to me and the thing that I want everybody to take away from this is the modularity of this. Uh, because of the way that this is engineered, it can be built in over 300 different configurations, whether that be a griddle, a charbroiler, I can do these burners, um, I talked a little bit before about how the front burners are a little smaller. You can see the size of the pot that I've got on the back burner here. It is huge. That's a huge pot. I'm going to cook some pasta in there in just a minute. This is a standard griddle as opposed to a thermostatically controlled griddle. Um, the vast majority of customers prefer the thermostatically controlled griddle because you can dial in a temperature and it will hold it at that temperature. Um, this one sort of gets infinitely hot as the, as the heat builds up through the plate. Um, I can get this griddle up over 800 degrees. So it would be a great place to do like smash burgers or um, searing steaks to then finish in the oven. Um, but the thermostatically controlled griddle is gonna give me a little bit more uh, control, a little more versatility in what I can do with it. This range series is also available in electric. We're seeing a lot of kitchens have requirements for electric pieces as opposed to gas, simply because electricity is so much more efficient as a, uh, as a medium for heating. As more and more buildings go green, as more and more buildings try to seek Energy Star ratings for the entire structure, little things like changing out a gas range for an electric range is the kind of thing that's gonna pull that building more towards energy efficiency. So the Endurance line does come with flame safety. Uh, what that means is that if for some reason a pilot goes out, the entire gas line will shut down to that part of the range. Um, it is modular just like all the pieces of the range are modular. So if the pilot goes out over here, but not over here, this gas will still be active while this one is shut off. It's just to make sure that you can't have a buildup of gas in an area where there is no pilot light to ignite that gas. One of the ways that the Vulcan Endurance range helps you save money is by having a shared pilot light system. By not having two pilot lights per two burners, uh, you're gonna save about $300 a year in gas. That shared pilot light is called our flash tube pilot system. Um, and basically it's a tube of gas with a pilot in the center that will ignite either of the two burners that, that is part of that module. In the instance of that pilot light going out, our competitors will frequently put in a system with batteries. So you can press a button and use a battery to restart 
the range. Well, <laughs> if you have ever seen the chaos of a Friday night, Saturday night service, and and what that generally entails just in a kitchen, imagine adding on to that someone standing here screaming that they need a double A battery. Like that's just that's that's crazy. So instead, what we do is if that pilot light does go out, we've got a click lighter built in to relight that pilot. I keep going back to the modularity of this piece and the number of configurations that it could be could be built with. Going so far as to have a refrigerated base instead of an oven. I realize that most of the time there's an oven under the range, but if you've got limited refrigeration space and you know that your mise en place for all of the things that are gonna go on the range would be better served right here, we have that option of having a refrigerated base with drawers where you can keep your cold food down below and move directly from here so there's less moving around on the line, less moving back and forth to, uh, to get to a refrigerator. One nice thing about the, uh, the uh, refrigerated base is the, dr the drawers are self-closing, so they're on a slight angle, so as you open them, they will close back on their own so you don't get your shin knocked off if you, uh, if you leave it open. In addition to being self-closing, there is a detent that if I open the door to its full extent, it will hold it open for me so that I can continue to work out of that drawer until I close it. The oven comes with two racks. Our competitors generally only ship with one, and we have four rack positions, so you can get, uh, so you can configure the oven. If you've got deep pans, things like that, you can spread them out. So it gives a little more versatility to the oven. So now on the endurance range, uh, I'm gonna cook a uh, fruity tamari, classic, classic seafood dish. Um, similar to bouillabaisse uh, in French, it's fruit de mer. It's the whole, like, it's it's all kinds of fish in a really flavorful broth. Um, this one's gonna be served over some fettuccine. And uh, I'm gonna do at least a, a two times batch in here so I can get a couple of bowls out of this one, this one batch. I've got water boiling in back. Uh, I've got some fresh pasta. It's only gonna take a couple of minutes to heat that through. And then I'm gonna cook the, uh, the fruity tamari up front here in this pan. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started. I'm gonna turn this pan on. And you can see I've got really great flame pattern on this burner. Uh, you can see now I'm way down low at a simmer right there. And then if you look at the range or how much control I have, I'm only at about a third power there. There's about two thirds. And then there's all the way up and you can actually hear that burner working. It is really, really intense. That's all 30,000 BTUs per hour coming out of that burner. Obviously, it's very well protected. It's protecting the pilot light in the center of that line. Um, so it's a really, really well-made piece. Love cooking on this. So I'm gonna start out with a little knob of butter, let that melt, and then I'm gonna start to add some more ingredients. You'll just kind of watch as I do that. So I'm gonna start out by sauteing some onions and garlic. And add a little minced garlic to that as well. Now I'm going to add some chopped tomatoes. Base developing there. Now what I'm gonna start adding in, in, in order of the ones that are gonna take the longest, the seafood items that are gonna take the longest. So the clams are gonna take the longest to steam and open up. Then I'm gonna go with mussels, then I'm gonna add shrimp, and then I'm gonna finish with scallops. Uh, we'll make sure that's seasoned up at the end. Uh, by then I'm gonna have my my pasta cooked. I've got my griddle turned on. I'm gonna grill some pieces of bread to serve on the side of this, and uh, it'll all come together there at the end. Obviously, I've already gone through and debearded the mussels and make sure they're all alive. The one thing I'm gonna watch now as I do this is I'm gonna wanna make sure I have enough moisture, enough liquid in here. So I've got uh, a seafood broth that I'm gonna add a little bit to as I need to adjust that liquid. But if you'll notice, every time I make an addition, the pan only cools off for a quick second 
and then comes right back up. And that's the strength of that 30,000 BTU burner, making sure that I've got incredible recovery in the pan. And that means greater throughput for the whole kitchen. So my clams are starting to open, my mussels are starting to open up. So I'm gonna start to add the softer seafoods now. I'm gonna put in some shrimp. Sauce. The other thing I'm gonna start doing now is start to build that sauce, fortify the sauce a little bit. So I'm gonna add some tomato paste. Start to get that mixed in. Give a little more body and a little more heft to the sauce. Clams are opening right on schedule. Make sure everything's down in the broth. And I'm gonna add some scallops around. They will not take long. I definitely don't wanna overcook them. Adjust seasoning just a little bit. I haven't added any salt yet, so there's a little in the seafood broth, but not much. So just a tiny bit of salt. Add a little pepper. That good broth there working. Starting to get some color on the shrimp now. One of the last things I'm gonna do is add some fresh herbs to this. I don't wanna add them too soon and have all the, the volatile oils cook out and break down. So those are gonna be the last things that go in. Right. And so now I'm ready to go ahead and add the pasta to the water to heat that up. So I've got some fresh pasta here, some fresh fettuccine. Woohoo! look, it's very exciting. And like I said, I'm gonna do a couple of batches in this one pan. Make sure I got enough, add a little bit more here. All right, now I'm gonna take advantage of the control that I've got and turn this down to a simmer. Add that fresh herb. those are mixed in. All right. And now what I'm gonna do is, as this seafood is pretty much all the way cooked, I'm gonna pull all the seafood a little closer to one side to leave myself some space right here. The reason I'm doing that is because I want to have some room to put in my fettuccine. And add that in. And now I've got room to make sure my fettuccine is coated with sauce. I'm gonna turn my heat down. Do a real quick pass of this bread to heat it up. All right, so I can go ahead and turn things off and now I can go over here and plate this dish.
So today I made a uh, fruity tamare with fettuccine on the uh, endurance range. Uh, you can see that the f the all the seafood cooked very evenly. Um, the the nice wide burner made it really easy to cook a large volume of food at one time. Uh, the water over the the water that I cooked the pasta in boiled very fast because it's a thirty thousand BTU burner. Um, and then the griddle got nice and hot, and I was able to uh, put a great toast on the surface of the bread. So um, the the range really made it easy to to produce this dish. Vulcan's Endurance Series gas restaurant ranges offer Vulcan's legendary toughness, precision, and dependability. They're loaded with innovative features that bring ease of use, added efficiency, and improved productivity to any operation. Within each unit, you will find a fully MIG welded frame, stainless steel front, sides, and high shelf, and fully welded crumb tray. Also, cool to the touch knobs, and shielded pilot flash tube assemblies that provide peace of mind and offer gas savings during idle times. Vulcan's endurance ranges can be configured in over 300 different lineups that incorporate open top burners, griddles, or char broilers. Pair these tops with standard or convection oven bases or a refrigerated base that eliminates the need to run to the walk-in and puts cold product right at the operator's fingertips. Vulcan Endurance Series restaurant ranges offer all the durability, reliability, and performance you demand in a cooking station that's tailored to fit your workflow and your menu.